so much fun working on this thing right here because I get to work with just the most phenomenal guy. And, you know, there's been a bit of a bromance going on for the last couple of weeks every time I've introduced Mark, and I'm not even going to apologize for that. You know, he's somebody that is fantastic to work with, and I think I've said this before. The thing that I love most about Mark is that whether you, whether he's on camera, off camera, in front of people, one-on-one, -on -one, he is the same person who just honestly cares about people and making a difference in their lives. Thank so, you, Mark, and you're right, Stevie Jones. This is a bromance, my friend. Oh, man, I love you, and I'm hugging you. And everyone, welcome to our core webinar. We are rocking week three. You've detoxed, you're ignited now, and I got some special tips for you, some, some ways to keep this momentum going. But before that, I love what Steve was talking about, the success stories. Now, you might just be starting your eight-week run now and your, your core challenge, and that's why you have these recorded webinars that you can dive into on, on coronate.com. But you know, there's some cool stuff going on this week. Our headline news series, our national media series, eight weeks, new body, new life. We have our, Caesar, our series finale this Friday at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time. It's a 30-minute show. You're going to see some powerful stuff because when we talk about the success, it's important to know that when you do things, you're part of something, not just for yourself because the transformation starts with you, but something bigger than yourself as well. You have Kim Mossimum in her gym in Des Moines, Iowa, Goals in Motion, that's living the core challenge, that's rocking the eight-week run, and her gym's dropped over 600 pounds. 45 people in one spot making it happen. You have Jen Fleischer. In, in multi-sport fitness in Pennsylvania, rocking the core challenge. So many of these cool core recipes that you're seeing in the recipe group are from her team. And they're, they're making it happen. And Jen, over a two-year period, has dropped 80 pounds, which got her inspired to help people. And then you start thinking about, as Steve recommends, jo Jody L. Stevens, Kelly Bonamo, and in the HLN series, 16 participants making their health happen. Every single one of those participants lived on the core product line. They've taken the core shakes. They've done the detox plan. They've done the burn. They've done the probio. You have Mary Bella, who's down 35 pounds. You have Mike Galanos, superstar, down to 9% body fat. Story after story after story. Lynette Brown, down 28 pounds. So the point is, is what you're doing as you're walking this journey, you're not alone. You're part of a community that's not just on the core community Facebook page, but it's it's international, it's throughout North America, and every single week, twice a week, it's national media. And this entire week on Headline News at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time, you're going to see Fitspiration stories. And that's what this is about. As you've detoxed and you've ignited, as you move into your week three, and someone posted on the core community, they asked a question about, you know, what, what happens when I start to lose motivation? How do I stay in the game? And that's what tonight's all about staying in rhythm and avoiding the rut so we've been there before right we start strong we all start strong and it's a natural thing that not of us not all of us finish strong and many of us we don't finish strong in a lot of things myself included and that's okay but this is something that you're gonna finish strong at and part of this process whether it's this week or next week or the week after you might you might have a rut and a rut's that boredom it's when you fall into that ho-hum attitude that we've all been before. Now, a rhythm is when you stay consistent, when you're, when you're diversifying, when you're enjoying things, when you're part of the experience. And tonight is about making sure that you're staying in rhythm and you can see the right coming. So what I'm going to invite you to do is I want everyone to get a piece of paper out because we're going to make 10 minutes really interactive so that these are true coaching sessions. So imagine, you know, you got the tools now with your detox plan. You got the tools with your Ignite plans. I'll present the Thrive plan to you in time. But right now, week three, we're going to focus on some tasks that you're going to own this week. So every week builds upon the next week so that you get closer and closer to achieving your goals so you can experience the success that you're seeing all around you. So when we talk about staying in rhythm and avoiding the rut, there's going to be three things. We're going to talk about keeping your foods flavorful. Nothing's worse than boring food. You know, we've all been there. When you, when you start eating food you don't enjoy, eventually you stop eating it. You've got to diversify your exercise. One of the biggest culprits is boredom of exercise. And then you've got to create new positive escapes. So I like you get a piece of paper out, and we're going to start with keeping your foods flavorful. 
Now hold on, I press this, I gotta go back. So keeping your foods flavorful, I want you to write down this. I want you to write down three things that you think you could do this week that would make your food taste better. You know, I'm gonna share three of my stuff. Before I share mine stuff, this is about you being interactive. I want you to write down three things. Now, on your Ignite document, you have a free food list. Mrs. Dash, salt-free spices, phenomenal. So are you, are you bringing your free foods into your meal plan? And I got to tell you, by simply putting some nice garlic with some onion and a, and a, um, a, a, a no-salt seasoning on my chicken, oh, man, it makes it taste so good. Or I do some ground turkey, and I mix it all in, and some basil and some oregano. So by simply adding some free foods, things start to taste so much better. Now, the second thing I want you to do is as you're exploring, I want you to dive into some of the recipes. On that Facebook group, this is our eight-week run recipes. You can go there. This is overseen by head chef Valerie Cogswell. Chef Valerie is a phenomenal chef, but what you're going to see is every single recipe, whether it's a core shake, whether it's an Ignite approved, Detox approved, Thrive approved, you're going to see recipes that are going to give you step-by-step -step aspects on how to actually make your food taste good. Now, there's some recipes that take three minutes or less to make. There's some recipes that take 10 minutes. There's some that take 30 minutes. So the whole key is depending on where you are, whether you're in a grab-and-go mode or family-friendly mode where it's going to be a sit-down, the reality is that you can, you can dive into that and also dive into the HLN transformation page because every single week, we nominate recipes of the week. And every single week, there's a new winner. There's five new recipes every week, and there's a new winner. So you have all of these different recipes to choose from. So the first thing is got to add some free foods to your current meals. Then the second thing is you got to dive into some recipes. And then the third thing, and hold your, hold your horses, write this down, you're going to have to make a recipe. That's what I love you to do is to make a recipe. You know, a recipe for me could simply be some grilled chicken with some garlic on it, a handful of almonds and a banana. That's a recipe to me. So you can go as, as, as simple as possible or you can go intense. I love it. I, I love the recipe of the weeks. We had one guy, Dan Miller, who's a phenomenal vegan chef. He's a plant-based guru. Everything else was all female-based. So, so I know as a man, and I know Stevie Joe's on this webinar, that, that we're probably not the best about making these phenomenal recipes. But what I love is that the ladies, part of this community, are just incredible with food. But whether you're a man, if you're a man, I still want you to make a recipe. Just do it man cave style. And then if you're a lady, share it. So those are the three things. Add your free food, dive into the recipes, and make a recipe. And next week on this webinar, we're going to choose a recipe of the week. All you have to do is post it in the core community. And then based upon the top recipe, whoever gets the most like, you post your recipe there, whoever gets the most like, we're going to post as the recipe of the week for the core community. So that's the first thing about staying in rhythm and avoiding the rut. Make your food taste good. Okay, second thing. And I want you to think about this, diversifying your exercise. You know, last week isn't the Ignite phase started. We, we brought our exercise back in. But how many times in the past have you hit a point where you felt like your exercise was, was struggling? Like you, you, every day you're going to the gym, you're, oh man, another workout. I want to share with you that the moment you stop feeling that excitement to work out, you're entering a rut. And that lack of excitement, that boredom is what's going to make you fall off. So this week is going to be simple. As you got your pen out, basically you're going to add one new type of fat burning cardio. So maybe you're cycling now, maybe you're jogging, maybe you're walking. I want you to diversify. Maybe you, as, a, as, a, as the weather's warming up, maybe you start swimming. Maybe you do hiking. Maybe you, you go rollerblading or ice skating. Maybe there's one more, one more type of fat burning cardio that you're going to add. So my challenge to you, my invitation to you is this week, as you're doing your exercise routine that I talked about last, night, last week in your Ignite phase, is I want you to add one more additional type of fat burning cardio. Then I want you to add a new type of high intensity cardio. What I love about that picture you see on your screen right now is that picture is from SkyZone. And man, I love SkyZone. Abby, our, our, who runs the core community here, Abby Addiskin, she must have put that picture up because she knows I'm below Sky Zone. I love indoor trampoline dodgeball. We did a whole segment on it on our HLN series. So if you really are looking at additional high intensity, right now maybe you're sprinting or you're spinning, you could do some trampoline. You could play a sport like tennis. 
You can do cardio tennis. Yvette Montilla and Maribella and Anna, they're part of the HLN series. They were all stuck at a bit of a plateau, and they picked up cardio tennis, and they all burst through that plateau. So add a new type of high-intensity cardio that you're currently not doing. And then the last thing is a new type of strength training. You know, Mike Galanos of HLN, he loves weight training. And I challenged him to, 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 to try TRX, to try body through space movements. Maybe if you're in a class, like when I look about goals in motion. Maybe that you're used to doing weights or you're used to doing Pilates. Maybe it's a yoga class. Or maybe it's a, it's a Zumba class. Or it's something new that's going to activate more strength training and break down your fibers and bring a new spin to it. So diversifying your exercise is keeping it fresh. So I'm going to invite you. Number one, you got to keep your food flavorful. Number two, you got to diversify your exercise. So basically, one new type of fat burning cardio, one new type of high intensity cardio, and one new type of strength, type of strength training. Now you, know, you might be saying, Mark, come on, I'm just getting into this. I want to predict what's coming. Listen, I've coached thousands of clients and millions of people all over this plan, so I know what's coming. So it's important that you stay ahead of the curve and not start feeling that rut. And by diversifying your exercise now and starting the process, you'll always be ahead of the curve and you're going to avoid the rut. So we start with your food. you got to keep your food flavorful. Then you diversify your exercise. And now the third thing that I want you to focus on is create new positive escapes. I want you to think about you have a long day. Stress is high. And what, what is your natural release? And I get tired of people thinking like a release is a bad thing. You know, we have moments of rush, you know, of running, of pushing. And we need a, a, a break. We need a break mentally. Now you have two options then. Fortunately, many of us turn to the food. My, my, my escape for many years was food. I love food. So that would be my payoff. And a payoff is just a release. Now many people do alcohol. Some people go shopping. The problem is, is that any type of escape that you do that's taking you further away from your goal is actually working against you. So as you make your eight-week run, as you're part of this core challenge, and wherever you sit, if you're just getting started or you're three weeks in or you're seven weeks in, wherever you sit, the key is, is you've got to find new positive escapes. Now, I love these pictures because it could be multiple things. I love Disneyland right there. I love that. I, uh, Disneyland or Disney World. I think that's California Grand Adventure. But it could be simple things like listening to music or watching TV. I love movies. So when I feel like I need that escape, I'm going to turn on a movie or my favorite TV show. Many of you may like to read a book. I have my iTunes on my phone, and if I feel like, hey, I, 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 I needed a release, I'm going to download a song rather than turn a pizza. So it's all about doing that. Now maybe it's going for a family walk or taking your dogs out or playing with your son or, playing or, or spending quality time with your significant other. The bottom line is that realize you need an escape and you've got to find activities that are taking you closer to your goal, not further away. So to recap, simple things this week. You already know people are succeeding all around you. So you can't say, oh, it doesn't work. It does work. We know that. I've been touring for the past three weeks, and throughout the tour, I started in Dallas, then I was in St. Louis, and I was just in Connecticut. And story after story after story of people in the detox phase dropping five pounds, seven pounds, ten pounds. People after their eight weeks, like a Javier Polis and Pavela. Javier's down 46 pounds. Pavela's down 23 pounds. I had a 20-year-old uh, boy in, in, in Connecticut. I loved his heart, man. He's down 25 pounds, and he keeps going. Krista came up to me, 15 pounds. Brought her mom on board. You know, I love how this is all flowing. So you know it works. You know you have national media behind you, and everyone on the HLN series, they're using core. We have celebrities all over. We know that this plan and these products are yours. They work. You have detox. You've ignited. But we got to stay ahead of the game. we got to make sure that you stay in rhythm and you avoid the rut. And you're going to do that by keeping your foods flavorful. I want you to find three ways. Add free foods. Dive into your recipes. Make a recipe. Diversify your exercise by adding new fat burning cardio, new high intensity cardio, new strength training. And then create positive escapes, either listening to music, reading a book, going for a walk, anything that's taking you closer to your goal.
And that's how you actually stay in rhythm. Now, as Steve mentioned and I mentioned, I want to wrap up tonight talking about Kelly Benamo. You know, they're dear friends. They're part of the core community, part of Monavi Mint. They're part of this, this movement going on here. And I've known Kelly for a few years. And I love Kelly and Mike Bonamo. They're from Chicago. And Kelly's been waiting to make her run, to own her health. But you know, the challenge is that she's a mom, she has children, married, works. Life's tough. You know, it's not, it, it, finding that space to make that happen is not as easy. And Kelly knows what to do. She just wasn't doing it. But then the eight-week run came. Then the core challenge came. When we talk about the plug-and-play plan presented here, and what happened is Kelly saw the possibility. The entry point was so simple that she could own it, that the space where she was limited before was she was not limited anymore. She was featured on Headline News today along with Jennifer Long, and Kelly Benamo she would be featured after eight weeks, after becoming an inspiration to us all. In eight weeks, she dropped 30.4 pounds. She dropped 13% body fat, and she dropped 11 inches. But what's more important, as she said in her own words, she believes again what's possible with her body, and she's confident again in who she is. And at the end of the day, please know this. When you strip it all down, when you just make it simple and straightforward, what matters right now is how you can become your very best. And that's what this coaching series is all about. And that's what this core challenge is all about. We are just getting started. For the past three weeks, I've been on tour. What you're going to see in June, as we continue these webinars every Tuesday night at 9 p.m., what you're going to see starting in June are core events, eight-week run events, all throughout North America, inspiring people to be part of this movement with us. Over this next year, it's only getting stronger. I just finished my book. I finished it today. I'll be in the rewriting phases, but in spring 2015, it's coming out, and it will be a number one New York Times bestseller, and we will be on all the national media. So it's only building stronger, and right now, we all have an opportunity to inspire people because guess what? Just like a Jen Fleischer, the transformation started with Jen. The transformation started with her. She dropped 80 pounds, and then... Everyone else started seeing it, and her friends wanted to be part of what she was doing. And she got so inspired that she opened up her own gym, and now she is touching thousands of people's lives. That's what this is about. So please own your week three. Make this your moment that you continue staying in rhythm and you avoid the rut. Make your foods flavorful, diversify your exercise, create your pause escapes. And right after this webinar, we're going to go right to the Q&A on the Facebook chat and ask away. Be engaged in the community and remember, as always, the transformation starts with you. Keep it rocking, everyone. Stevie Jones, back to you, my friend. Man. Mr. Mark McDonald, thank you very much, sir. Some very simple but very significant tips there. And one of the things that Mark says there, that I, you should absolutely write this down and have it plastered on your fridge or whatever, it doesn't matter how good something is for you. If it doesn't taste good, you won't do it. I remember doing an interview a couple of years ago with, with one of the top professional rugby players in all of Europe, uh, you know, championship winning, European title winning rugby player. And he said that uh, one time he was doing a training camp thing down in South Africa in, in a very respected university in South Africa that specialized in sports science. They did all these tests on him. They did blood tests, sugar tests, they, oh, every kind of test you can imagine. And they looked at what he, as, a, as an individual, needed nutritionally. And they made this, this drink, shake, whatever it was thing, and it was specific for him. I mean, top, top level sport things that we're talking about here. And he said that he knew in his heart of hearts it was probably the most appropriate thing for him to take because it was customized solely to him and no one else in the world. But he said it tasted like rotten eggs. He said it tasted disgusting. And he said, and after a week, he said, I just literally couldn't stomach it anymore. I couldn't drink it anymore. And he stopped taking it. <laughs> and this is somebody that understands the power of nutrition. You know, he makes a living from it, understands what the quality of it. 
has to taste great. And this is what I love about our core challenges that our products are absolutely delicious. And you know, my wife.